everyone, it's Louise with Louise McKay Art, and I'm uh, going to be doing my last pour before the wedding. So my art studio sunroom has become quite dismantled, and it's kind of stressful because I don't know how I'm going to get it all put back together again after we get back from Asheville, but I guess I'll deal with that when I get there. But uh, yeah, this room is going to become the uh, buffet center. And uh, I got to be out of here tomorrow. So this is my last hurrah. So I'm going to do something completely different today. Something I've never done before. So I've got a recycled canvas here. And my idea is to do a Dutch pour. And I know the pearl paints are very close in um, consistency that you need for a Dutch pour. So I'm basically taking my pearl paints. I let them sit out for a little bit. I've got my Thalo turquoise here, and with this one here, I uh, added a few more drops of uh, paint and a little bit more Floetrol and just let it be. This is my um, Quinacridone Magenta from Golden and Artez's Bordeaux, and to thicken this up, I added a little more Bordeaux. This is my combination of golds, and I'm not too worried about that one. This is my Nicolazzo Gold. By Golden. This is the Arteza's Pearl Sea Green. And then this is the Modern Masters and the Cadmium Modern Masters Pearl that I had left over and my Cadmium Yellow from Liquitex that I used on the last couple pours. So that's my lineup. I've got a very bubbly base. So hopefully I will be able to uh, torch out all the bubbles. Pretty nice consistency. Hardly hardly a mound at all, but it mostly is pouring back into the, the bucket. I can't vouch for exactly what's in here. This is all leftover paint from previous pours. I call it my regular paint. My regular paint is typically two parts Floetrol to one part paint. So, and I often use just the Artist Loft White as the part paint. And uh, yeah, that's that. So I'm gonna get the uh, base laid down and then I'll be back with you in a minute. All right. All right, everybody, I'm back. I've got my canvas laid. Let me give it a quick torch because I know there's bubbles. So this uh, paint is a little thicker than the normal pearl. And I added some white to the lineup because I felt like I needed some white just for some definition. And I'm going to be using my little Berta. This is the same one that I've used for my um, deconstructed blooms. And hopefully I'll have enough energy here to push this paint around. Now I'm going to do something really simple because this literally is my first time trying this. And um, I'm just going to go on a diagonal. I'm not going to go to both ends. I'm just going to Hopefully, I'll be able to push the paint around and get some decent composition. So, with that, so I'm going to pick up the pace here through most of this, laying down paints in the blowout, because you can see what I'm doing. This is the phthalo green that I'm laying down first. And you'll see, I barely have enough to get to the end. And that often is my trouble, is knowing how much paint to make and making sure I have enough, but not too much. So after this, I'm gonna be laying down the sea green here. So that one lays down really nice. So finishing up pouring down the cadmium yellow and uh, pearl combo. And then I go to the uh, quinacridone Nicolazzo gold next here. So 
So here I'm finishing laying down the uh, Bordeaux red and notice that I'm drizzling it just like I do with my blooms. And then after that, I've got my gold combination. And then I top it off with a drizzle of the white here. So what I'm doing here is I'm laying more base paint around the puddle colors. And I'm going to make this a proper Dutch pour like you would see Rinse Cadana or Molly or any one of those that do a lot of these Dutch pours. Putting up the four shields. And then with that extra paint that I laid around, uh, what they do is they blow the paint over the puddle in one direction and then blow it over in the other direction. And I think this probably stimulates cell activation, even though there is no cell activator here. And then I blow it out. The other thing, pouring the extra paint around allows the colors to have some nice pillow to float over as you're blowing it out. So right away, after uh, taking a quick look at it, I realized I have so much paint in the middle that um, I never did blow it out all the way. And then I'm noticing also that when I did blow it out, I kind of blew it out left and right, left and right, so I have arms sticking out <laughs> straight in a very stilted way. The actual blowout is not hard. It's getting the blowout in a good composition that's a challenge, I think. So I'm going to play with it a little bit here and talk in a second some more. Okay, so observations. The yellow turquoise, while it's a cool color, doesn't seem to go well with this group of colors. I need to learn how to blow it out in the middle better. It's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> Hey everyone, so I'm going to pick up the pace through a good portion of the rest of this video. Uh, I'm trying to compositionally make this a little more interesting <laughs> from my stiff arms going out in all directions. <laughs> but you know what, I could, I could definitely do better on another, another one now that I've learned this. The trick is to get that paint blown out of the middle. That's what I've got to figure out how to do. And do it in a way so that the top left bloom Dutch pour is actually connected to the rest of it and not disjointed by the pour over extra paint around the puddle. So just again, I want to emphasize, I do believe it's very important to try different techniques, even if it's out of your comfort zone, because that's how you learn. Yeah, and I know I've mentioned this before, but I had a ski instructor one time that told me, if you're not falling down, you're not learning. So, you know, sometimes you got to take a spill and get back up and try again, because it's only in trying something you haven't done before that you're broadening your horizons. And I really, truly believe that. So just 
my little philosophy for the day. So as I continue to fiddle here, I'm pulling in lines now using the pillow paint or the base paint. And actually that helps provide a little definition to the petals, which was cool. So I'm pulling out and I'm pushing in both directions and blowing at the same time. Trying to spread the paint a little bit and, and then um, make it look a little more interesting. Just getting practice in really. All right, well, hey, you saw somebody for the first time doing something. So this should be, once again, confidence building for you guys. Because if I'm able to do this soon out of the gate, I think you guys can give it a shot too. What is this mess? I think I've got way too much paint on here. I don't know if this is going to dry well. There's just a lot of paint. But I am enjoying doing these little embellishments. Should a little more turquoise in here. I mean, actually, break that up a little bit. I have so much red down here. Yeah, I've got way too much paint on here. Yep. We're gonna have a problem when it dries. And I don't typically have trouble drying. And I have to torch, I have not torched. What though, this is a really quick technique. Slam bam. Yeah, way too much paint. Oh my gosh. this dries, I'll be surprised. All right, well, hey, first time trying it.
I gave myself credit for effort. <laughs> Definitely it takes practice. The people that make it look easy, of course, once again, they are the pros. So I think I'm glad I added the white. Although I think I added too much white. I'm not thrilled about that color with the turquoise. It just doesn't seem to work. The red and the gold are good. I'm not sure about the Nicolazzo gold either. It, it may be okay, but I th that the turquoise is just not the right, uh, not the right color. So I'm gonna do a quick zoom in so you can see, because I never did lift it up to the camera and call it a wrap because I think it's done or it's done with me. More learning and more trying, it's all good. All right, everybody take care. Thanks for staying with me and we'll see you next time.